Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at another G.I. Joe Club.com exclusive. This is part of the finer, uh, the final 12 figure line from the G.I. Joe Club. This is figure 6 of 12. This is the Sonic Fighters Road Pig. All right, so this figure is actually the one I have been most excited to get out of this set because I love Road Pig. <laughs> uh, the Dreadnoughts have a special place in my heart, and Road Pig has always been one of the standouts from the entire Dreadnought line, and uh, we have the Sonic Fighters version of him. So this uh, figure originally came out as part of the, uh, the Vintage line, Sonic Fighters, uh, and it's basically just a re repainting of the traditional road pig figure which uh is one of my all-time top favorite figures of the entire line um yeah we'll not get into too much of that right now but uh so we get a an updated version of road pig from the sonic fighters line and it looks really awesome <laughs> uh if you can't tell i'm excited about this figure so um we're going to dive into this thing and uh, see how awesome it is and if it actually holds up to my expectations here. So anyways, it does come on this really awesome card package. Has the uh, cool artwork from the uh, actual vintage line itself here. Sonic Fighters Road Pig with his crazy neon colors, which we're not going to get too much into. But uh, flipping it over to the back, we do have the um, enlarged artwork from the actual front of the figure and the actual file card so uh we will let's see if we can zoom in here sorry move the light uh y'all can pause it right here and read through the file card if you do so choose very nice um for whatever reason they have not included any information about his crazy split persona stuff here which i guess was only canon and part of the comic series so um yeah, we'll not get into that either but uh road pig is an awesome character very cool figure and one that i've always really enjoyed having so let's go ahead and get this guy out of the package <laughs> um so if you've uh seen any of the previous videos you'll know that uh i've already mentioned but i'll mention it again anyway so the uh, gi joe club itself has closed its doors and they've stopped producing figures for the line. So this uh, final 12 was the uh, the last hurrah from them to collectors saying, hey, we know we're not gonna be able to continue this. So we're gonna try to get uh, some of these last final figures out that we've not been able to get to in the past to try to complete some of these lines. So that's exactly what this one is with the Sonic Fighters. They uh, managed to get some of the very last figures from that line produced for us to enjoy. So here we have the actual file card itself without the figure in there. So it looks really cool. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to toss that to the side and take a look at the figure itself here. So we do have a little bit of tape here, there, and a bounce. Uh, we'll go ahead and slice that open with our X-Acto knife so we can get in here and get to the accessories a little easier and i think that's it so um let's see here so we have this uh mini submachine gun thing uh we will look at this uh closer here in just a moment so let's just go ahead and get everything out of the pack first we do have uh his really awesome uh wrist crossbow here very nice we obviously have the large figure itself, which uh, looks really cool. And I'm hoping that the the lights I have today don't uh, diminish the shine of this uh, neon orange here. It just uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> we also get his trademark sledgehammer from a cinder block, updated with a nice new uh, neon green handle wrap. We get a Sonic. Uh, whatever kind of rifle this is, assault cannon thing, uh, some kind of large caliber gun thing. <laughs> and we, of course, get the cool figure stand. So, uh, that is everything we get in the set. Um, we don't usually get too many accessories with these, uh, 
latest uh, Sonic Fighters figures. Again, they were meant to, in the vintage line, to come with an actual electronic backpack. The uh, Collector Club didn't try to reproduce those, so we just get the figures themselves, which is good enough for me. Those backpacks never really worked really all that well. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here and get closer so we can see this thing up close and in person here. Uh, so let us start, I guess, with figure stand. That's what we usually do here. Uh, traditional Cobra 25th anniversary figure stand here. Raised Cobra logo in the center. Two foot pegs. Code name on the front. On the back, we do get that 2007 trademark. So kind of standard issue here. Very nice. I'm still glad that they come with these things. So very cool. Uh, let's go with this thing first here. So this uh, crazy submachine gun thing. Uh, it comes in a nice kind of brown color this time. So it's not a crazy out of the way color but it fits in pretty well with the rest of the cobra line here some really nice detail work all the way around on this thing this looks pretty cool it's definitely a uh, a bad machine gun which fits perfectly in with the bad dreadnought road pig i really like this thing this thing looks cool so there is our uh, little submachine gun thing here then we have this uh, slightly larger caliber uh, sonic weapon thing. Again, it's kind of a, supposed to be kind of a futuristic laser rifle kind of contraption here. So it's uh, not got as many details as some of the uh, more traditional weapons, but it this one actually has more than we've seen in a lot of these things in the past. So this one is pretty cool looking. I actually like this one pretty well here. It's nice and uh, large and has just enough detail to make it look science fiction-y without going crazy over the top here, but uh, still kind of a large caliber, <clears throat> large caliber weapon. So that's very nice. I like that one. Um, let's go with the, uh, the crossbow here. So we get his traditional crossbow that has, straps to his wrist. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this thing was uh, basically made after uh, the character from the Road Warrior, Wes. Uh, it is uh, pretty much an, almost an exact replica of that guy. Uh, in the comics, he did have a slightly different personality and had some crazy quirks and all, but uh, the figure definitely lends itself to that whole Road Warrior vibe that they're going for. Uh, the wrist thing just snaps on his wrist like that right there it's a cool looking crossbow um it does kind of have an explosive tip on it as opposed to like a a piercing tip and that's really my only complaint with this thing is that i would prefer a piercing tip to that as opposed to uh whoops okay i'll point this out as well uh so um an exploding tip i would have preferred a piercing tip uh but so this is actually a two-piece unit here you do have a little uh peg here on the back side and on his wrist attachment there is just a peg hole there uh you just line that up and press it down into place and it should snap in there and mostly hold itself together pretty well but from time to time it will kind of pop off so uh be aware of that we had the same issue with the original uh, release of road pig here so um cool next up we do have his crazy cinder block mace uh and i'm afraid i'm washing the colors out on this one too badly but uh, there is a lot of detail work on here so the actual cinder block itself has all the little concrete chipping that you would expect the wood green is in place here on the actual uh, handle and then you've got this cool green wrap that just looks really awesome here so uh, this is a really awesome accessory when they uh, rebooted this character into the uh, gi joe renegades cartoon line um, they actually had the mace in there but they didn't really have the same character so we'll, we'll not get into that either but uh, this is a very awesome accessory <laughs> Moving on to the actual figure itself, uh, let's see if we can take some uh, closer look at the detail here. 
So the face, I'm washing this thing out. So give me just a second to uh, try to dial the lights down just a little bit. That's not too bad. There we go. Uh, so the face sculpt on here is uh, a pretty good one here. Uh, it's the same one we got out of the um, uh, shared internet exclusive, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, uh, Dreadnought 7 pack, uh, Battle Pack I think is what they called it, back in 2012 I think it was. Uh, so it was a still a really awesome sculpt here. We've got some nice detail work. He's got his crazy mohawk with lots of detail. You can see his earring there. Got a little bit of paint slop right there for some reason. Uh, earring on the other side. Very cool looking though. Um, then all the detail work he's got in his crazy, uh, whatever you call this thing, <laughs> his armor anyways, um, they just went to a, a really extended amount of trouble to get some really awesome detail work in that. So I just want to highlight some of that here. It just looks really awesome here. It would have been nice if the so in the original one this was all black and they actually had painted some of these uh, this chainmail silver which was a nice little touch here. I can understand why they didn't do it here, but uh, it's still still cool though. Uh, but you'll notice here they actually have this uh, cool little thing here. So this is actually made so you can kind of uh, take his uh, big mace thing here and uh, slap it kind of have to force it in there but you can kind of stick it in place there and he can carry that thing on his shoulder so that's a, a really nice little touch that they've uh, added there i always like when your uh, figures can carry all their accessories it's a little tight and a little hard to get back out <laughs> but uh, it works for what it is so that's it's good anyways um beyond that we've got some uh you know standard tattoo work here he's got uh, some cool belt stuff here going on some nice detail work in his pants he does have these uh cool removable plates on his boots i'll we'll pop these things off uh there we go <clears throat> and then take a look at the actual underside of that so some really nice detail work on the boots themselves uh, I think these are all reused from other figures. So um, I guess it was what sci-fi that had these originally. So it's a, a nice reuse of that stuff here. And you can see on the back side, they've got the rest of that there. So still very nice. And he's got his uh, big boots there. So um, yeah, this is a cool looking figure, to be honest with you. Uh, articulation wise the head does spin 360 degrees we do have up and down motion a little bit of side head tilt not too much standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints standard ball and swivel here at the elbow joints standard swivel only at the wrist yeah there's no rocker there but just a swivel <clears throat> Okay, uh, standard uh, chest twist feature there at the uh, the rib cage. Uh, lots of pretty good ab crunch motion going on there, so that's nice. We do get a standard uh, T hooks at the waist. Has a full range of side to side motion, uh, full front, full mostly backward motion there. So very nice there. Uh, we do get double knee joints there and pull this off here to look at the standard swivel and rocker there at the ankle joint again that the armor is removable so that's a nice little touch there it's i like it with the armor on there but um i know some people don't really care for that crazy neon color scheme that they got going on here but uh it doesn't bother me on this figure anyways um so yeah, that is, uh, that's Road Pig here. So that is the cool figure that we were hoping for, to be honest with you. Let me uh, pull the lights back up on this thing. So um, for me, I am really liking this figure. <clears throat> it comes with a ton of accessories. Uh, we get some cool new Sonic Fighter weapons here. We get the cool 
cinder block mace, his awesome uh, wrist gauntlet, uh, crossbow doohickey, and we get the really cool updated version of Road Pig here. So uh, for me, yeah, this figure actually just uh, is firing on all four cylinders or all eight cylinders if you're looking at it that way. Uh, this one really delivers for what I was looking for. Again, it's uh, basically a straight up repaint of the original um, Dreadnought Battle Pack version of uh, Road Pig with just new updated colors. Um, the Sonic Fighters line is kind of where they started going into some of that crazy neon color thing. And for a lot of people, it was a turnoff. Uh, for Road Pig itself, I think it worked really well for the character. Uh, it gave him a little bit more of an added dimension. Um, yes, he's one of my favorite figures uh, originally. And yes, I still like it this way. But it, it was nice to see him. Um, he was kind of a minor character, at least in the figure line, for a long time. So it was nice that they just picked him out of the crowd to actually throw him into the Sonic Fighters line, which... Uh, in the storyline, it made perfect sense to me, and, and it still does today, so I'm really happy with the choice there, but uh, I was just really surprised that they actually picked this character because he is not necessarily all that well-known from most standpoints. But it's a really awesome figure, and uh, yeah, this, this one is uh, definitely a keeper. Uh, for whatever reason, as it stands today, it's not... All that highly sought after so um, you should have a pretty good chance of picking one up for a price you're willing to pay that's still going to be in the $40 range anyhow um, but that's actually about what this thing retailed for they were in the 35 to 40 range uh, there was a few sales that went on here there and about so they may come down a little cheaper but if you can pick it up for, you know, $40 range, uh, you're not going to be disappointed at all. Especially if you did not get a chance to pick up that uh, original 7-pack version. You're going to like this figure a lot, I think. So, it's got a lot of good stuff going on. And uh, even though it does have some of those crazy neon colors, they don't detract from this particular figure. <clears throat> he is a, uh, a warrior of the wasteland, so to speak. I mean, he's a dreadnought he can kind of do whatever he wants to do is what it amounts to. And uh, if he wants to go around in crazy neon colors, then I don't think anybody's going to stop him. <laughs> Anyways, this is an awesome figure. You need to go get it. Now that's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of the Sonic Fighters version of Road Pig. Uh, are you excited, as excited about it as I was, or am, or whatever? Uh, let us know what you think, anyways. Did you have the original vintage version of the Sonic Fighters Road Pig? If you did, what did you think? How does this compare with that uh, original vintage figure? How do you think it stacks up to the original character figure uh the non-sonic fighters version of the character and just any other comments you might have leave them down below if you'd like to see anything in future episodes let me know that i'll do my best to get it out there and uh, put it in front of y'all for review and uh if you haven't already do feel free to subscribe to the channel here uh everyone helps a little bit so <laughs> um yeah that's pretty much it so until next time Yo, Joe! And Dreadnoughts rule!